My name's Karen, I'm with the band Owen Soup and we go into schools and share our love of Irish music. We play instrumental as well as songs. We talk a little bit about the genres of the dances and we teach the kids the songs. We like to get them involved as much as possible with the singing and uh, we teach them songs that aren't in the kit as well as getting them involved to do different things with the songs that are in the kit. The band's made up of three players. I play the fiddle or the violin and sing. Jason Day plays the uh, tin whistles, he sings as well, and Dan plays the mandolin and the guitar. She is handsome, she is pretty, she is a belle from Belfast City. She is a court in a one, two, three. Pray, won't you tell me who is she? This song is called I'll Tell Me Ma. It's a traditional Irish song. The kids really love this one. They like listening to the lyrics of the song. Uh, it was originally a skipping song, so it has a really nice rhythm that they can um, really listen to and get into in the music. This is the Irish drum, it's called a boron. It has a rather unusual spelling, so check it out in the kit. Um, we play the boron with a double-sided drumstick called a tipper, and the tipper allows me to rotate my wrist. I can um, actually use both sides to strike the drum and get quite a fast rhythm. Uh, on the other side of the drum, place, I place my hand on the drum skin, and by pushing in and increasing the tension, or by moving my hand to different places on the drum skin, I can change the pitch that the drum is playing. So I can use that to follow the harmonies in the guitar part, or even try and keep up with the melodies in the fiddle. I would like to, because I'd love to hear you, you look like a very nice choir to me, and I'd love to hear what you sound like. So I'll sing you the first part of the chorus, and then you can sing it back. I'll tell my ma when I get home, the boys won't leave the girls alone. I'll tell my ma when I get home, the boys won't leave the girls alone. I'll tell my ma when I get home, the boys won't leave the girls alone. I'll tell my ma when I get home, the boys won't leave the girls alone. Almost everybody's mouth is moving, and that's a good sign. But if your mouth is not moving, then you're probably not singing. And I can see everybody's mouth. So let's have another go. I'll go first. I'll tell my ma when I get home, the boys won't leave the girls alone. I'll tell my ma when I get home, the boys won't leave the girls alone. That's better. Here's the next part. They'll pull my hair and steal my comb, but that's all right till I get home. They'll pull my hair and steal my comb, but that's all right till I get home. 
it's all right till I get home. Oh, my hair is still my color, but that's all right till I get home. Oh, that sounds nice too. Can you do this, Pat? She is a court in a one, two, three. She is a court in a one, two, three. Excellent. So we'll do that too. And we're going to make this song a little longer this time. So we're going to put two little violin tunes in there. And every time you hear the violin tune, you need to pop your hand up so we know that you've heard that. And then pop your hand straight back down again. I'm Dan, the guitarist in Owen Soup. The guitar has quite a special role in Irish music in that it tends to drive the rhythm in a very strong way. It uh, underpins the, the, the jigs and the reels and the tunes and it provides a strong rhythmic support for the other instruments and especially in light of the fact that it's often used for dancing. So to give an example, the start to uh, uh, Tell My Ma would uh, sound like this. This is a set of tunes called the Moon Coin Set. It's made up of three traditional Irish tunes. Uh, the first two tunes are jigs followed by a reel. These are great tunes for dancing and we also include the didgeridoo in this set of tunes. The sound of the didgeridoo quite closely replicates the sound of the ancient um, Bronze Age horns from Ireland which were initially thought to be ceremonial but um, they've recently discovered that they're probably not loud enough for ceremonies. Uh, the thinking now is that they were actually played as instruments in some of the earliest Irish music um, and using the didgeridoo in that same way we can create a nice bass drone for the songs and just add a little extra texture to the pieces. Easy. 
seventh tune, Jason changes to a mysterious instrument. And when that happens, I want you to put your hand up. Now that's not the tin whistle, because some people put their hands up and that's the tin whistle. He changes from the tin whistle to something else. And when he does that, put your hands up so that we know that you're listening. And then when he comes back and joins in for the third tune, which is the reel, then we're going to get you to do just some finger taps. So we're just going to have a little practice. You'll notice in the sets of jigs and reels that the students really like to clap along. We like to encourage them to use finger taps uh, just to keep the volume down a little so that they can still hear the music as well. And that's something that you can use in the classroom as you're preparing the kit.
Newry Town is a ballad about uh, a highwayman who robs from the rich and gives to the poor. It's sung in traditional ballad style. It doesn't have a chorus. We get the kids to be involved by joining in on the last line of each verse, which repeats. It's, uh, it's got a, an instrumental each side. In the beginning, it starts a cappella and ends up as a quite a big crescendo. So the whole piece actually grows um, as, it, as it gets faster and it gets louder as well. In Stephen's green, now I lie in school. I serve the time at the saddler's train. I always was a roving blade. I always was a roving blade. At seventeen, I took a wife. I loved her dearer than I loved my life. And so to keep her in fire rain. I went out robbing on the king's highway. I went out robbing on the king's highway. I never robbed a poor man yet, or lately caused anyone to fret. I robbed the lords and the ladies fine, and I carried the jewels home to my heart's delight. And I carried the jewels home to my heart's delight. I robbed Lord Bolton. So this is the violin, and uh, often called the fiddle. Uh, it's one of the most common instruments of Irish music. It's been in the tradition for hundreds of years. Uh, the modern day fiddle hasn't really changed for about the last hundred years, but we still think that's pretty modern. And it pretty much is one of the lead instruments in all the tune sets, and we use it consistently throughout the show, um, driving the melodies. The mandolin in Irish music performs a similar role to the guitar in as much as it can play chords, so for example sounds like that. It's tuned higher, it actually has the same tuning as the fiddle, E, A, D, G, it has the two, uh, it has the pairs of strings, so four open, uh, total of eight open strings rather, And um, but it, more than the guitar it's, it's able to play tunes and, and melodies, so there's the one that I start that's uh, later in the piece when we uh, walk around amongst the students and it starts like this.
Thank you very much. We hope that you enjoyed our show. We certainly look forward to coming to visit you at your school and working with you and your students. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.